April 25th, 2014, Friday at um, 10.45. 8 a.m. So this guinea pig comes in after one month of, of uh, not eating well. And uh, now today, definitely he's not eating and drinking. And you can see he can't even stand up. Now, we, we weigh him first. And uh, normally, every pet should be weighed so that we know whether they have lost weight or not. No, so the weight is 594 grams. 594 grams. Now, this guinea pig is seven years old male and he's never been sick before, but he ever did come here for a surgery where there's a growth here in the ear. And according to the owner, the growth is no more. It hasn't come back, but I think it's still a bit here. Now, I will show you the growth here. The growth here. Help them enlarge it. Okay, you can see the roof here. And uh, <coughs> we move. <coughs> and the owner is quite happy with it. That uh, there's no more problem. But now I just examine again. That was in uh, two years ago. And I noticed that he did not maintain the ears. I see the ears very dirty. Yeah. So, so for any guinea pig or even dogs, uh, they must maintain the the guinea pig or the dog because they get infected. Now we see this here, it's probably not maintained also. Because some, some owners just eat and just feed the guinea pig. It's very dirty. So sometimes they become sick. And when they become sick, you can see that the eye discharge there. Take eye discharge. That's where this side also. The conjunctivitis. Now, as far as uh, as far as the vet is concerned, he should examine the whole body. Now, we take temperature. Temperature must be taken whether it's normal or not. So we take a temperature which was taken already early on. And, uh, and the temperature is taken. And you can see it's very painful as well. So the temperature taken and uh, they show that uh, whether it is a high or low temperature. Now, so part of it is, is a normal pr process, uh, normal procedure. Take, take weight and take temperature. There's no uh, shortcuts. And uh, there are some vets who just just bypass this tool uh, and just see what's wrong and then just treat accordingly. But uh, the best is to record these two uh, um, measurements so that uh, in case of future litigation or complains that it's not done, then uh, you can show in records that it has been done. Now this guinea pig was taken temperature earlier on, uh, temperature was taken earlier on, and it was very low. It's about 37 points. What was the temperature? 36.1. 36.1, yeah. So now also it's quite low. It's 35.5. And uh, so, so it's uh, not good news, it's hypothermic. Okay. So now I will show you that uh, whether the owner maintains the guinea pig and see it's very dirty here in the inner area and you can see they never clean up. Uh, this is his uh, male organ but uh, it's very dirty. So sometimes all this will cause infections especially when the guinea pig is old as this one is. He's seven years old and uh, the immune system is not so good as, as a young guinea pig. So this, this could lead to uh, infections. Now, I check the abdomen, I, I palpate the bladder, the bladder, the bladder is swollen, and there's some pain, I think maybe it's crying, there's some pain. Then I check the heart, the heart uh, and the lungs. This guinea pig is quite old and can't walk now, it has been shivering. Now check the heart and lung. The heart is okay. It's beating fast. There's pain. There's pain in the chest. Yeah. You can hear the guinea pig crying. Yeah. Now overall the the 
mucous membrane is the main thing you can see for, for this purpose of video you can see that he's got running nose early on you can see he's stuck and uh, you can see the gums are very pale huh? it's almost white so this shows that he's been sick for a long time and you can see his teeth are overgrown that means he's not been eating for quite quite some time otherwise the teeth shouldn't be so the front teeth shouldn't be so long normally, normally the lower teeth is shorter than this so these are the the, the symptoms, signs and symptoms of uh, illness causing the guinea pig probably had some uh, infection early on and the owner didn't uh, bring him to the vet now he's very thin and uh, almost dying before he he brings to the vet as to why he does it I don't know so the best advice for me is that uh, once the guinea pig is not active or not well uh, bring to the vet early but then wait till uh, a month later as in this case and also uh, management of the guinea pig you have to physically check the ears the, the, the lower parts to make sure they are clean the eyes as well uh, of course when they are young normally they are quite strong in, in the immune system so they don't uh, fall sick so easily but when they are old as in this one is about 7 years old some bacterial infection uh, due to uh, they said uh, uh, that the uh, contaminated back sites uh, will cause him to suffer from uh, uh, illness, as in this case. Okay, thanks.